Okay, we're gonna conduct a freaking test and we start off by installing the rod into the iMotor assembly and note that when the power to the iMotor is off you can position the rod freely by hand. Then we install the end probe, also referred to as the gripper. Uh, you can place any type of, of probe on, on the rod since it has a 4mm through hole in it. Then we will adjust the vertical position of the iMotor assembly so that, that we're more or less in the correct position to conduct the test. Then we bring in our first test object. In this case it's a metal, coated metal plate. We place our second test object onto the metal plate and we're using a 200 gram weight also found in the ASTM 1894 standard. We bring the, the metal plate into the correct position and we tighten the screws to the assembly. And then we measure the coefficient of friction. And that's it. Note that force port can be used to measure coefficients of friction, both static and dynamic, between any two test objects. Force port is the most versatile tool when it comes to friction testing that you will find in the world today.